It's a typical day in Belleville. The people living here come from all over the world, from North Africa and China in particular. Belleville is well known for people from many cultures coexisting in harmony. A multicultural mix of people come to the Nani Jewish Bakery to buy their pastries. I'm a Muslim. This is my friend Jacob. He's Jewish. There are no problems between us. We live perfectly well together in France. But despite appearances, East Asian immigrants are regarded as outsiders. We don't understand their language. It's difficult to work with the Chinese. They work night and day. We could never work night and day. A few steps away is Kok Ming, one of the oldest Chinese restaurants in the area. Its manager, Ngo Cheng, came to Belleville as a child. He feels at home here. Nevertheless, he's furious about the recent increase in muggings. Many of the victims are East Asians. He sometimes sees thieves from his window. A woman with a handbag getting out of a car is an ideal opportunity for them. They open the door, grab the bag and make off with it. Sometimes they hit her in the face too. And you've seen that? You see it every day. Muggings are particularly common here because East Asian restaurant employees tend to carry cash. Since many of them are in the country illegally, they can't open bank accounts. Giving cash as a present at celebrations like weddings is also a Chinese tradition. Many of the criminals are of North or Central African origin. Often they're youths who grew up in Belleville themselves. The Association of Chinese Residents wants something done about the problem. These are all formal complaints sent to us by victims of muggings. We've got more than a thousand. But in most cases, no action is taken. There are often serious incidents, yet the assailants are released every time. To emphasize the need for action, the association, which is usually quite reserved, organized a demonstration in June. It began peacefully, but escalated into scuffles between Chinese demonstrators and North African bystanders. The owner of the nearby Zorba restaurant tried to get the police to help. I called the police three times. They told me they'd take care of it. There was a lot of fighting. The Chinese started on the North Africans and then other North Africans tried to defend their countrymen. The police only came at the beginning and then they left. They just left them to it. Mina El Mazouki from Morocco is convinced that's no coincidence. She thinks ignoring violent scuffles between various immigrant groups is deliberate government policy. I think they're hoping people will be sent back to their home countries because the situation has become intolerable here. The socialist mayor of Belleville, Frédéric Calandra, bitterly laments the recent policies of French President Nicolas Sarkozy. She says the police do nothing to protect the Chinese. In fact, they've stepped up their raids on illegal immigrants. The Asians see it as a gross injustice. Their documents are checked and they end up in deportation centers. But nothing happens to the criminals because they have French citizenship. That's what's prompted the outbreaks of violence. The police refused to discuss the issue. The superintendent in charge canceled a planned interview and refused to reschedule it. The tensions are even noticeable in the kosher bakery Nani, a place renowned for its peace and harmony. Charlie voted for Sarkozy, but he's unhappy with the country's political direction. I don't like the fact that people have started mistrusting each other. Religion and nationality have never played a role here. The peaceful coexistence of multiple cultures in Belleville is under threat. When the police turn up, Everyone hopes they've come to check on their neighbors rather than themselves. That's a poor recipe for mutual trust and tolerance.